What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's Master Aquatics and I'm bringing you guys another video. This video we are going to focus on how to set up a freshwater aquarium. Now this video is not going to be targeted towards the intermediate fish keepers. This is going to be for the people who are either thinking about buying a fish tank for the first time or they just bought their first fish tank and they're wanting to know how to set it up. So I'm going to give you guys some tips and I'm going to do it really fast and I'm going to make it easy for you guys to understand. So let's start and go over with what you need for a freshwater aquarium whether it's big or small one of the things that you will need is some lighting now this is the Phoenix planet 24 7 LED light fixture you don't have to get one like this but this is one light fixture that I recommend because even though it's a little pricey it's very durable and also if you decide to get some plants for your aquarium they do really good for your plants they give your plants the necessary lighting for them to grow link in the description where you can get one of these in Amazon if you're interested this this one is pretty durable as well as you can see it's kind of banged up there's some scratches and marks on there I've also splashed some water on this by accident while doing water changes and it still works fine so if you're looking for a good light fixture for your tank I highly recommend this one right here I also forgot to mention that you can also do lots of cool color combinations with this light so you don't have to just keep it at white lighting you can do blue lighting red lighting green lighting you can even mix and match you can do green and blue and you can come up with all kinds of color combinations for this light light fixture. Next thing that you want is a lid for your aquarium just in case your fish try to jump out. You don't have to get a lid but I highly recommend that you do because you never know when a fish might be suicidal and try to jump out of the aquarium and kill themselves. This will prevent that from happening so I highly recommend that you get one. Next thing you want to get is some filters. You can either get hang on the back filters like this one or you can get a sponge filter depending on what you're trying to do but if it's your first aquarium I'm assuming you're just wanting to get some few fish. You can get any hang on the back filter. This is called the aqua clear hang on the back filter. I've been using these for the longest time and I highly recommend these. If you're wanting to get some for yourself I'll provide a link down in the description. These are highly reliable and they are very durable and they've never given me a single problem. Now the last thing that you're going to want for your aquarium is a heater um, unless you're stocking your tank with cold water fish such as goldfish but if you're going to get tropical fish such as guppies, angelfish, any other type of fish that requires warm water you're going to want to get yourself a heater. I'll recommend two types of heaters. I got this one right here which is made by not sure if you guys can read that but it's made by some something quartz I actually don't usually go with these guys. I actually go with uh, Aquion, but these guys are also good as well. I'll provide a link for both of the heaters. Now as far as chemicals go, you only really need one chemical, which is this stuff right here, which is called Prime. Now what this does is it removes chlorine from your water. It is a dechlorinator. This is vital when you're doing your water changes and when you're adding water to the aquarium. This is the only thing that you really need when you're starting out. So that's pretty much it. Those are all of the basic items that you will need when you start an aquarium. Decorations are always optional. I didn't include any decorations in this video because I can't tell you how to decorate your tank. This tank I'm going to set up right now and I'm going to show you guys how to add the water. And I'm going to show you guys how to do it the right way. Let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add my hang on the back filters onto my aquarium. I will be using two of these right here. One of these are brand new and the other one has been used and it's really dirty. Now there's a reason for this. Now when you first get a fish tank you can add the water in but once you add the water you can't add the fish. You're gonna have to be patient. You're gonna have to wait about 30 days. The reason being is is because water needs to have beneficial bacteria for the fish to live. How do you get beneficial bacteria in your water? The fastest way to do it is to get a used filter that's been in another established tank and it's been seasoned with beneficial bacteria and you can just put it onto your new tank, add the water, and it'll cycle your tank immediately. Maybe in like 24 to 48 hours tops, at least from my experience. Now if you don't have an established filter and you're using a new filter and you don't have beneficial bacteria in your water, you will have to wait 30 days. And while you're waiting for 30 days you're going to have to add either some fish food or you're gonna have to get some fish to cycle your tank for you a lot of people don't recommend using fish to cycle their tank because people say it's cruel although I've done it it's not so bad the fish still live a very healthy and good life some good fish that I recommend to cycle your tank would be like some danios or some uh, some rasboras those are some fish that I recommend 
that you can use to cycle your tank. Now that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and set up the aquarium. Alright guys, so now that I have the aquarium where I want it, before I start filling it with water, I have the hang on the back filters on there as well. I'm also going to go ahead and add my heater in there. Alright, I know you guys can barely see that, but I got my heater installed. Now we're good to go. Now I'm going to go ahead and start filling this tank up with some water. Hey guys, I also forgot to mention you will need a water changer to change out the water in your aquarium. So I suggest getting one of these. These are called a Python water changer. They're really easy to use. You can plug them up to your sink or to a hose outside. And all you need to do is just hook them up and you're ready to go and you'll turn on your faucet and you can suction water out of your aquarium or put water back in. Again, you can find these down in the description down below. All right guys, so while this is filling up, you can go ahead and start adding a few drops of crime. All right guys, so I've added my water in there, but we're not done yet. So the two filters here, they're not on yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn them on. I'm also going to be using a empty plastic water bottle to get water from the tank and put them into the filters because that's how you start your AquaClear filter. So let's go ahead and do that. All right guys, so that's it. I got the water filled up. I got my filtrations working. This one is the filter that's been used and it has the beneficial bacteria. That is the new filter. Now, I feel confident in being able to put a fish in there right now, but I'm going to wait a day before I put a fish in there. So we're gonna wait till tomorrow and I'm gonna put a fish in there and show you guys that it's instantly cycled. But as far as setting up a tank, that's how you set up a basic tank with no decorations. Now you might be thinking, bare bottom is ugly. Well, let me tell you the benefits of having a bare bottom tank. And I actually learned this from the King DIY Joey himself. He actually, the majority of his tanks are bare bottom, or at least they used to be. Now, since he has a gallery, he's been aquascaping them. But the benefits of having a bare bottom tank is that they're easier to clean, easier to maintain. You have less potential of your fish being startled and bumping into things and injuring themselves so having a bare bottom tank is not that bad it's not very appealing to the eye it all just depends on what you really want for your fish if you're really concerned for their safety and the type of fish that you have is a jumper or they dart around or they're really skittish then you might want to consider having a bare bottom tank if you really want decorations in your tank then go for it just keep the things that I just told you in mind. All right guys, so it's been about a day. I'm pretty confident that the water is safe for the fish. I believe it's cycled because I used a pre-season filter. And just to prove this to you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and add some rosy red minnows in here just to prove to you guys that these guys are okay. So let's go ahead and do that. All right guys, so I got my rosy red minnows. Just so I don't spill water all over the place, I'm gonna put them right here. Get them to travel over here. And now, we are gonna go ahead and put them in. Moment of truth. Here we go. Ta -da. Rosy red minnows in the 29 gallon tank that was cycled in a day. Check it out guys. So here they are. Now usually when you put fish in a tank that isn't cycled, you will immediately see that affecting the fish. Um, they'll start acting sporadic. They'll start, you know, acting weird, swimming upside down. Uh, they won't be swimming. Sometimes they'll just be laying down on the ground. Uh, 
and just acting weird, but these guys, they're acting pretty normal. It seems like they're doing okay. I'm pretty sure if I throw some flakes in there, um, they'll go ahead and eat. I'm actually gonna do that right now. Again, guys, I always feed my fish tetra-colored flakes. You should get some of these and feed them to your fish as well. Link in the description. Let me go ahead, just grab a pinch. It's kind of hard doing this one-handed. I have a tripod, but I just don't use it. All right, here we go. Pinch, 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 pinch. All right, so here's a really small pinch. And let me go ahead, throw it in there. They might not eat right away because they might be stressed out from the move, but I think they will go for it. Let's see. I think they, they sense that the food is in here already. Yeah. Let's see. Come on, guys. Get the food now. Actually, the food hasn't, hasn't fallen down yet. All right, we'll play the waiting game for right now, then, until the food falls down to them. Oh, there's a piece of food right there. Who's gonna get it? No one? Oh, they're pecking at the ground now. Oh, that one got it. Oh, okay, now they're eating. So, it's amazing how quickly they got used to this tank and they started eating and now they're just going crazy. So this method does work if you want to cycle your tank. Now I know a lot of the newbies they won't have access to a preseason filter. So if you don't have access to a preseason filter or like substrate or anything that's been in an aquarium for a really long period of time that's gained benef beneficial bacteria then you will have to do um, two things. You can cycle the tank with some rasbora fish or some danio fish or you could probably use these guys because they're really hardy too um, but you don't want to use like an expensive fish or a really sensitive fish like an angel fish or anything like that um, or you can throw in pieces of flake food uh, in your tank for 30 days and that will usually um, get beneficial bacteria to grow into your aquarium so hopefully this helps you guys with cycling your tank. Um, this works for me. If you guys have any questions, please let me know down in the comment section down below and I will answer your question. My name is Master Aquatics and before I go, I release some new merch. I'll leave a link down in the description. I got plenty of new designs for some t-shirts. You guys should check it out and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and bye bye.